Doesn't that look delicious? I made this before and it was absolutely delicious, so I made it again. And we have some fresh cucumbers from my garden. And I also made that bread, y'all. Zero carbs, okay, in my bread maker. And we are drinking orange tangerine flavored water today. Mmm, mmm. Who's ever had crawfish toast? Let me know if you like it. What's up, Yummy Vice? Welcome back to another episode of Yummy Vice TV. Y'all already saw it. We are drinking orange tangerine flavored water today. Oh, yes, y'all. Mm. Delicious. Let's pray. Amen. Who is ready for this mother flipping muck bag? Crawfish toast. Mm. Mm hmm. Mm. Delicious. Mm. This is the one, y'all. Not the two, honey. This so good, I don't even know what to say. <laughs> I mean, mmm, look at that crawfish. Mmm, this is too good, y'all. Who want a yummy bite? Y'all want some, girl. I love how my toast is still crunchy. Mm. Y'all let me know in the comments if y'all ever tried crawfish toast. I remember lovely Mimi had put up the, the first video that I saw of um, this toast. And y'all, I've been making it ever since. Mmm. Mmm. Well, this is actually my second, I think it's my second time making it. It's spectacular. It's full of flavor. Mmm. 
Mm-hmm. I had never heard of this before then. Never. You would think like if you're dating somebody from Louisiana that they would know about all Louisiana dishes. No. It just depends on what part of Louisiana you in um, for certain dishes, honestly. But I think gumbo is one that's like the same all the way around Louisiana. Very much popular in all of Louisiana. Mm. God, it's so creamy and good. Mmm. Delicious, y'all. Y'all gotta try this. Mmm. Nothing like fresh cucumber honey from the garden. <laughs> Nothing like a honey. I got full out that first one. Oh my God. We got some hot topics. <clears throat> Excuse me, so stay tuned. What's your favorite color? I want to see how many people are going to answer. Since we were right in the beginning of the video, what's your favorite color? Put it in the comments. Mm. Y'all been having a time with, um, I don't know why I be wanting to call her royalty, loyal, no. Oh my God, I forgot her freaking name. Um, royal, loyal? Um, you see how I be forgetting? I don't forget the damn dog's name. Anyway, I've been having a time with her today. Like, oh my God. She had a couple of accidents in her cage. I had to clean that up twice. Okay. On my hands and knees, y'all, with paper towel and spray. Because I didn't think just to take the tray part out and take it into the garage and like hose it down, you know, and then wipe it. Girl, I was on my hands and knees cleaning that damn thing. I was like, God, please no. Then after I cleaned it, then I heard her start barking again not that like some hours later. And girl, she was barking because she had what messed in there again. This time she threw up, y'all. So I said, I am not going to do the same thing I did, you know, on my hands and knees. Trying to clean anything, honey. I ain't doing it. So I took the tray out so, you know, she wouldn't be any, in any type of mess. And I had to put it on top of her cage. And after this video, then I'm going to go and clean it. But at least she's not in there with, you know what I'm saying? <sighs> yeah, I just took it out. Girl. Who knew that she was going to get sick when she came over here? Like, I've been doing everything Mario told me to do. I gave her her food. And I'm thinking maybe it's the change of her routine that may be making her a little sick. I don't know, y'all, because Maya told me she only feeds that baby. She feeds her, I believe, once a day, she told me. Because um, she's acclimated to Amaya's schedule. Um, I don't know, y'all, but... 
I was feeding her twice because she didn't tell me to feed her once. Mm, I thought dogs were supposed to eat like three times a day or whenever they want because that's what we do with Bailey. We pour food in her little thing and she goes and she eats when she wants to eat. And then when she has to use the bathroom, she tells us when she has to use the bathroom. That dog don't tell you when she has to use the Well, not really, okay? Because she don't start barking until she didn't already messed up. I don't know. Mm. I wish that I could know ahead of time. Bark and let me know. So every time she bark, I'm going to have to go and check and see what's up because... Anyway, oh yeah, I'm full. Oh my goodness, it's a lot of stuff on top of there, y'all, and it's very, very, very filling. Ooh, you could probably put this stuff in a crawfish pie. Ooh, I'm gonna make some crawfish pies with that um that pizza dough. Mmm, I think I'm going to do that. Because it's either going to be crawfish pies or it's going to be empanadas. Let me know which one y'all want. Empanadas or crawfish pies. They're kind of the same thing, honestly. Mm. This is delicious. Mmm. Mmm. Mm. Mm hmm. Ain't that pretty? Y'all better get y'all a yummy bite. Oh, girl. I have a feeling she about to start barking. But. You know what's been really surprising? She's a very good dog. <laughs> very good dog. Very respectful. You tell her to sit down. She sits. You tell her to be quiet. She's quiet. She's just very respectful, y'all. Very. She don't be jumping all up on you and stuff. Mm. You know, as soon as you, like, take her out of the cage, she's kind of... Like, she want to get with it. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> but then I tell her, calm down now. Calm down. Because I don't want her knocking nothing down. You know what I'm saying? And breaking nothing up in here. Mm. But today when I took her out, I just let her roam around. And when she was done, she came to the door, y'all. She is such a good, well-mannered dog, y'all. I swear. I would be... I was about to say, I would be shocked if she attacked somebody, but... I kind of would be, honestly. Y'all, I got some bell peppers growing. Mm-hmm. Some bell peppers. I literally could not believe they started growing. I hope it's not too late. I'm going to have to check to see, you know, if they can grow when fall is coming. Because I don't know. I got to check. Um, but, yeah, those are growing. And there's these, like, these mushroom-looking things, y'all, growing in there, too. I'm like, I had never seen anything like that in my life. They look like little aliens, y'all. I'm going to have to show y'all. I had sprayed some when I was um, feeding my plants this morning. I had sprayed a couple of them so they kind of like are down in the dirt. But there are a couple of them that are still standing up. And I have to show y'all those. Like, Tell me what that is. Is it poisonous? or like? Because I don't have a clue. I know, I know what they look like, though. They look like mushrooms that are sprouting. But girl, anyway... Mm. This is my last cucumber, y'all. No more cucumber cumbers. Mm -mm. I know I still got a, um, a plant out there 
that I started up as soon as my cucumbers had died. And so she's still doing good. I had some insects come and start biting holes in the um freaking leaves. I'm like, what is going on here? I didn't have that problem with my other cucumber plant. Bugs literally never ate those leaves at all. But honey, something had been eating them daggone leaves, so I had um like put that powder stuff for insects all over them leaves. Because I haven't gotten any flowers or fruit off of it yet. So I thought that it would be safe to do. Um, mm. So you're not messing with them no more. <laughs> and I moved it too. Mmm. Yeah, that is very surprisingly filling. I just knew I was going to eat two. Girl, absolutely not. And this is delicious on there because I put some smoked paprika up in there. Girl, pairs so well. All right. <clears throat> Leggy witty. Who is mother flipping ready? Oh my God, I'm so sick of people asking me to stop smacking. I swear I'm sick of it. Leave me alone. Um, okay. Did y'all hear the news? Did y'all hear the news? So Kamala Harris just shut down Donald Trump's crazy request to have their September 10th debate moved from ABC to Fox News. Here's what she said, and I want to give the full thing away because it's awesome. Quote, Donald Trump is scared and trying to mm -hmm. back out of the debate he already agreed to, and he's running straight to Fox News to bail him out. He needs to stop playing games and show up to the debate he already committed to on September 10th. The vice president will be there one way or the other to take the opportunity to speak to a primetime national audience. We're happy to discuss further debates after the one both campaigns have already agreed to. Mr. Anytime, anywhere, any place should have no problem with that unless he's too scared to show up on the tent. I love what she's doing here. Donald Trump tried to make it seem like he was challenging her to a debate by switching venues last minute to a network is that, that is clearly biased in his oh. favor, but she shut him down and said, no, Donald, you're a coward who backed out of our original debate, the one that you already agreed mm -hmm. and committed to. Now show up to it or I'm doing it myself. Basically, she didn't let Donald Trump flip the narrative like he always does. She reminded him that he is the coward who backed out of their debate. Exactly. Now, could he literally not show up? to the debate is that um because isn't that part of them running like isn't there rules to this game y'all or can people just do whatever the hell they want to because that is like are you kidding me um i mean but he can reschedule if he wants to right but everybody knows that that fool is scared he is scared like and it's just showing all over him like he needs to take up for himself as far as that goes. Like, you know, and how can how can a network favor you more than the other person? Like, it's going to be a debate that's going to be filmed on the network. So how could, what difference does it make? What, uh, if it's ABC or Fox? Like, what, I don't understand what difference does it make? Um, it's going to be the same two people on there like what difference does it make who's gonna hold it on what network i just don't feel like i feel like K kamala K kamala whatever okay she should be like okay we can switch it what what what's the deal 
we can switch it. Like, that's what you need in order to be at this debate? All right, we can switch it. That's what I would do. I'll call his mother flipping bluff. Like, okay, let's do it. Let's do it. Because what difference does it make? None. None. Unless there's something that I don't know. Please tell me if I don't know it. I think that is crazy. Call his freaking bluff and be like, yes, okay, we could do that. Cover for that. So Kamala Harris just shut down. Anyway. Uh, what else, y'all? Hold on. I Not that. What is this? <gasps> y'all. Oh, this was in 2019. Girl, I'm so glad I read that. I'm so glad that I read that. So now I'm going to discuss this with y'all because it was in freaking 2019. Why do people do that? Give us some current freaking um, news and information. That is so annoying. What is this? Okay. Um, let me go on here and read y'all's comments, y'all. That um, was really all I had because I have been busy. <laughs> I really have, y'all. But I want to hear what y'all got to say in these mother flipping comments. Let's do it. All right, we got a couple of comments. Y'all need to go watch the last two videos. What is going on? Y'all must not be getting y'all's um, notifications. I mean, it's a, what in the world is going on? <clears throat> um. Oh, let me go from the bottom. Raya Munblock uh, sends, is that candy? I don't even know what that is. Shout out to Raya Munblock. Um, Sonya 77353 says, hey, yummy. Hey, girl, what's going on? Hope everybody's having an amazing weekend. Um, v underscore Zool underscore one says, oh, we may. <laughs> Y'all, oh, we may comes from, like, if you are from Houston and you grew up in Houston, like, that's what we say. We say, oh, we may, you know, that's what we do. Uh, Michael Stewart198 says, the food looks amazing, yummy. Love your hair. Thank you, Michael. Um, Keisha3468 says, look delicious, but award-winning, yummy. Child, yes, um, ma'am, award-winning, okay? <laughs> if you want to shut me down, make it and tell me it's nasty. Like, for real. I wasn't nobody playing. Um, Kadina, no, I'm sorry. Kadine Reynolds, uh, 6567 says, hey, beautiful. Hey, what's going on? That tuna sandwich looks mouth-watering. I'm glad that um, the whole Olympic boxing situation got cleared up exactly. I hope that young lady doesn't feel any kind of way. Um, election deniers, shouldn't that be illegal? Exactly. That's I, y'all, the world we live in, it is very much strange. Very much strange. It's like they be contradicting themselves with these different uh, laws and pop. Like, it just, I don't know. Anyway, um, shouldn't that be illegal? Only Jesus can help us now. I know. <laughs> I know. I know that's right. Um, anywho, congrats to President Kamala for securing the Democratic nomination. Take it, honey. Have a great weekend, Queen. Thank you. Thank you so much. I'm so happy that she she uh, secured it. So Donald can't say um, if, if it, uh, it's going to be Kamala or uh, Joe Biden. Like, he knows who it's the frick going to be. He already knows. Um... Pugly22 says, yummy, the dog can sense your fear. So try to relax because you are making the dog uncomfortable as well. Thank you. Oh, my gosh. Okay. Well, actually, I was very, very nervous when I first dealt with her. I mean, very nervous. Um, but now I'm good. <laughs> I'm good because she's very, very respectful and she's just been being a really, really good girl. Except for, you know, 
stuff that she can't even help. Um, but she's been such a good girl. She really has, and I'm just, I'm shocked, because y'all know how I feel about pit bulls, but she, she's just, she's, I, I feel like she's different, honestly. LaShawn Knight, and I know that's how every other person talks about a pit bull. I know, like, if they own one, I know that's what they say. But LaShawn 1901 says, yummy bites. Oh, okay, I got me chocolate hearts today. Thank you, LaShawn. Um... Singing Insomniac 2647 says, hey, yummy. Everything looks so good. Thank you so much. Um, DK313 says, hey, yummy. Your sandwich looks great. Don't be afraid of legacy. Legacy, okay. <laughs> Thank you, because I sure forgot her name. I have had pit bulls for years. They are big babies, and she is a big baby. If they are treated right, will you take her out? Definitely watch her. Um, they love to dig and chew on everything. Really? She seems like a really good dog, though. She is, girl. She is. Amaya has done a, an amazing job with her. And she told me, she was like, I, I asked her, I said, has, has um, Legacy ever tried to um, attack anybody or, you know, or look like she was about to attack? Anyway, and Maya was like, no. I said, well, why, though? And she was like, because... I don't like play fight with her and do all of that rough play with her because she says that if you do that, well, then you'll bring out the meanness in the dog um, because they, I guess they all have it, you know, that mean streak or whatever. Anyway, and she says that it's just never come out of her because of the way she uh, raises her, basically. So, yeah. I was so happy to hear. Do y'all know how long Amaya had been wanting a pit bull? Oh, my God. As long as I can freaking remember. Ever since she was like five or six, I think. For years, y'all. Because we lived um, by uh, some of our neighbors. They used to have a bunch of pit bulls. Um, I don't know if they were selling those dogs. Like raising them to sell them. But they were big and mean. But Maya would go over there all the time. The, the dogs never did anything to her. And remember when me and Marissa told y'all that um, one of them attacked um, Bobby when Bobby was alive? Baby, because Bobby used to think that, that he was a big bad wolf, even though he was this big. You know what I'm saying? And he didn't care at all. When we would open up that garage, because the dogs would be outside, y'all, okay? No leash, none of that, y'all. And I'm surprised we were okay with that. Isn't that strange? Anyway, but it's not like we would be all outside back there hanging around or anything. No, we was in the house, okay? But we left we lifted up that garage and somebody was supposed to have Bobby, but nobody did. And she would just I mean he would just he would just run out real fast. Rah, 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 rah. One day, honey, one of them daggone pits came and took Bobby by the neck and wrung her freaking neck. I mean, it was you know what I'm saying? Oh, my God. We thought that she was going to pass away. I mean, he was going to pass away. I keep thinking of Bailey. We thought that he was going to pass away, y'all. Because um, when, when the dog let go, Bobby was, <laughs> was, <laughs> Bobby was on the ground like this. <laughs> He wouldn't move, and we thought that he was gone. But <laughs> he he had teeth marks in his neck, y'all. Like we kind of got into it with the neighbors that day, but we made up really, really quick, really quick. Um, Bobby healed up, and everything was fine, y'all. But yeah, that like yeah. Anyway, I don't even know why I was telling y'all that. But Joanna Aguilar 4961 says, I bet you've never seen a hawk um, before up close. That must have been scary for y'all. It was very, very scary. I was like, oh my God. Because it just dropped down in our yard. Y'all, wait a minute. Okay, she's getting this from the family vlog channel, y'all. Um, there was a hawk that landed in our um 
yard that was trying to um, kill a, uh, I think it was a, um, a lizard. I guess it had his eye on it and just swooped down to get it. And it, that bird was so big. I was like, I had never seen one in person like that. Never. It was the biggest bird I ever seen, you know, in real life. Like, wow, skirts. Yeah, that was pretty scary. Uh, Joe 3409 says, what's the tuna recipe? Go to my family blog channel and it's the most recent video. You'll see it on there, homemade uh, tuna or, or um, award winning tuna because that's what it was. 0909 Troy's girl says, the Algerian boxer you're talking about failed a gender test. Thank you, thank you. Give us more. Vice president of world boxing confirms the boxer is male. It was not an issue with too much testosterone. The Algerian uh, boxer failed a gender test. XY chromosomes confirm uh, male. Well, they said, well, I guess that they're considering her a female since the doctor said that's, what she, that's the gender that they picked and that's how she grew up. And they said that she has menstrual and all of that. So if you have a menstrual, you are a woman. You know, like, I don't know what to say about that. But I'm just glad that they're not freaking picking on her anymore. Like, you know what I'm saying? That's supposed to be like the greatest day in her life is to, to be um, at the Olympics. And to for all of this to happen, like, can you imagine how she feel? Like, you know? Um, mm -hmm. I feel like if the competitors have a problem with it, well then they should complain. But they're not complaining, y'all. They're not. Um, let's see. Lady Croft says, hey, yummy. Hey, girl. I love that cardigan you have on. Thank you, sis. The tuna was so good that you was eating um, that you was eating with a knife. Yes, girl, because I did not feel like going to go get nothing else. The sandwich looked bomb. I haven't had long drawn silvers in a minute. So I hope you do have it um, for your cheat day. Yes, yes, I plan on it. I heard about um, Iman and the controversy around her, and I feel for her. I know I do, too. I just heard that she won another match. Good for her. Oh, my God. And then she says, so good for her. People are so quick to assume and run with anything. I do remember hearing that if your ballot has any letter or mark on it to request another one, I will definitely be checking my ballot. I cannot wait until this election is over with. I know, like, oh, like be over with, like for real. This is, it's, it's stressful, honestly. It really is. Um. Sis, I hope your weekend was good. P.S. I'm commenting while still watching sis, but Trump campaign did a hundred million plus uh Kamala's did three hundred million in July alone. So Trump has had more time to raise money. Baby, she is blowing it out of the water. No wonder he's scared. I'll freaking be scared too, especially with his ego. And, you know, people are saying now, allegedly, y'all, that um, he's probably going to drop out. And then other people are like, his ego is not going to let him drop out this race. And I feel the same way. Like, I feel like his ego, or he's going to make up some type of um, excuse that's a lie or something and try to drop out. But how embarrassing. Like, it's embarrassing. Like, the way he's acting. And then Kamala, Kamala is leading and then he literally said that the polls are looking good. How how is it looking good? You're not winning. I don't know what polls he be uh, looking at y'all. And I just, I don't understand sometimes. Like, is he just a person that just lies all the time? Is that what it is, y'all? Let me know because I don't know him like that. I really don't. But people just keep saying that he just keeps getting up on these podiums and line to folks. So, I don't know. 
Um, but good luck, you know. <laughs> um, Katie Lindsay 5154 says, Yummy, girl. I know you have been watching um, Baddies on Zeus. They have a show called Auntie... Um, Auntie with Blue Face Mama. Yes, girl, you know I watched that first episode of that. Uh, Tokyo Tony and another lady. Girl, they didn't put Netta and Charles on the show. <laughs> you have to watch. I was crying. Girl, I already saw it. I already saw it. <laughs> that was before Tia had um, <laughs> roasted Miss Netta. That's what you need to watch. That roast from Tia Kemp, girl. Just go on TikTok, honey. It is everywhere. Watch that. That's way better than it, uh, than Baddies or the Auntie Show. Like for real, that sh that was hilarious. Um, Bimem five three one says, "Isn't the garage uh, too hot for the dog?" No, the garage is not too hot for the dog. The dog is fine. All right. Anyway, y'all, that was the last comment. There was only 16 comments, y'all. Um, but, uh, yeah. That crawfish toast, absolutely delicious, y'all. 30 out of 10. That is a must try, honestly. I'm telling you right now. Um, make sure y'all follow me on Instagram and TikTok, okay? Instagram and TikTok. <laughs> follow me on the Family Blog channel. And I hope that you guys enjoy this video if you did oh and for the new people let me just let you know anything that i eat on here i cook it on my vlog channel okay the link is in the description box under um everything yummy bites tv but it's called yummy bites tv behind the scenes for everybody that doesn't know okay um yeah so i hope you guys enjoyed this video if you did please do what thumbs up this video subscribe if you haven't already for everyday videos, everyday videos. Hey, uh-uh-uh-uh. Hey, 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 uh-uh. And I will see you guys on tomorrow. Peace. Y'all come back now. Yeah. Bye, y'all. Love y'all.